So um, there's a couple different options. The one is you can go through an agency where they lease, they recruit Filipinos, they bring them into their offices, they mark them up, they lease them back to you. This is fine. It's not the best solution. You know, it's going to cost you a thousand to two thousand dollars a month for a person. They're going to pay that person four hundred to eight hundred dollars a month. Um, so there's a, there's a pretty big markup, and this is how I got started. But there's just better ways today. So what I didn't I didn't love that situation. So nine years ago, I started onlinejobs.ph, which is the biggest marketplace. Well, it's kind of yeah, it's the biggest marketplace for finding these Filipino workers. So to, to recruit, here's, here's the best way to do it and what everybody ends up doing. You're going to go to onlinejobs.ph. You're going to search for whatever your skill is first. That's the first thing to do is look at some resumes and see what you can find. Like see if, if there is some skills there that exist for, for what you're looking for, which there is. Uh, so there's about a half a million. Well, there's more than half a million Filipino resumes on the site. Uh, They can do all kinds of stuff. They're really good at it. So search and look at some resumes. Then either post a job and let let a whole bunch of Filipino workers contact you and apply to your job or start contacting those, start contacting workers according to your resume search. You know, like narrow it down to like 200 in your search or 50 in your search and start contacting them. Okay. So you've done, you've done, uh, and, and in your job post or in your contacting, you're going to do one of two things. You're going to, here's what you're going to do. You're going to uh, write a few details, but you're not going to go into every single detail. This is the biggest mistake I see people make when they post a job is they, they'll say like, I need someone who can do this and this and this and this and this and this. And they have to be really, really good at this and this and this and this. And uh, if you have these other skills, this and 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 this, it's a bonus, right? Like, dude, that person doesn't exist. Right. Like I, I get these emails from people that are like, Hey, I need a programmer who can, who can modify WordPress, who can make it, who can also make it look really, really great and a really good designer. And then they can write the content for the site and they can do the marketing and they can do our social media posts and they can write an ebook for me and do the design, the cover. Like, dude, there, there's no such person, right? This doesn't exist. Um, so focus on, focus on a task that you want to get done, post a job, or start contacting people. And don't narrow it down to like one person who you wanna hire before you start contacting. Contact 30 people. Okay, so you've posted a job, you've gotten a bunch of applicants, you've contacted a bunch of people, some of them have responded. Now your recruiting starts. So here's what I- Just interrupt you. Yeah, I was gonna say like, is this the process that you actually follow yourself as well? Yeah, I, and I, I'll do either one of those depending on how I feel about it. Usually I start with contacting workers and that's a completely a personal preference. Most 